What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a Minecraft modern house tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this house right here. This one. And so yeah, let's get started. To, um, on this build you're just going to need a uh, glass pane or any type of door you want. I'm going to use these two doors. Uh, cobblestone, stone, grey concrete, white concrete, and bricks. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is put in the same put one great one brick right here all right and then after that you're just gonna get cobblestone and you're gonna go one two three four five six seven okay so that's what you're gonna do seven and then you're gonna put white concrete right here so one two three four five six all right six Right, then what you're gonna wanna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so that's gonna that's gonna be the front part of it. Okay, so seven. But you're just honestly gonna wanna break this because you're not gonna need that. You're gonna need that blank for right now. So you're gonna break that. And it's gonna look like this for now. <clears throat> Alright. So after you do that, you're going to want to go over here, get your cobblestone, and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and you're going to close, put that there, okay, so it's going to look like that, and then after that, you're just going to close everything off, you're going to get 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. You're gonna get the white concrete and you're just gonna match it up like this, and then just get the cobblestone and go all around. All right. And then from here, you're just gonna do this. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So you're gonna be nineteen, and you're just gonna close it off. gonna go four high two three four two three four two three four two three four and this two and you're just gonna raise up the walls and that's what I'm gonna do, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and I just pre-cut all the windows where the windows are gonna be and the doors. So on this area, you, when I told you to take out the four on the bottom, all you're gonna have to do is put great concrete, fill it in in the between, and I messed up, I accidentally had it like this, I told you guys to do that, and then the rest here, no, you're gonna wanna take that last black the last block off and put in great concrete on it too so it should look like this <clears throat> and I also kind of messed up when I told you guys to stop here on this area but you're gonna just go four over one two three four and then just fill it in like this so it should look like this that was my bad guys I'm just, I apologize so um on this the, I just pre-cut everything so I'm gonna go through that right now <clears throat> I also forgot to take this off so like that alright so right here right here you're gonna have the fill it in with cobblestone okay this is where the doors are gonna go right here and here you're gonna put you're gonna go over one and then up two blocks and then this is where you're gonna put the, the the glass so I'm gonna use gray stain gray stain glass so one two and I'm just it's gonna go like that and then right here on the side of the garage you're gonna go over one and then break the two and then over one and then break the two so like that 
and then on this side this is the chimney you could just fill that in too but if if, if you want to here you're going to place a campfire and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you're gonna go up eleven with the brick right there like that okay and then you're gonna go over one brick one block from the chimney like that and then you're gonna break two and then go up three so one two three or go up two, whatever you want to say and then fill it in with glass pane like that. and then same thing go over one and then go break in three two by three and then right here you're gonna look this way you're gonna go over two and then go one two three four five and then it's gonna be three by five as well so. And then from here you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna go five. One, two, three, four, five. So break in five by three by five. <clears throat> and you can use regular glass blocks if you want to. I just like to use uh, paints, glass paints and I'm using the gray ones right now you can use any other glass you guys want so you can use regular glass you can use purple whatever you guys want to use so it's gonna be two blocks right here and then you're gonna break one two three four five and then same as the other ones three just fill it in <clears throat> and then you're gonna break one two I mean you're gonna leave one two three four and then you're just gonna break one and fill it in like that one by three and then one two three four and then one two three four you're gonna break it and then by three again just fill it in again and then you're just gonna come this side and leave three and then one two three four one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Same thing, just fill it in. And then you're gonna go over two blocks, and then one, two, three, four, and then by three again. Like like the other house, like the other types of windows. And then just fill it in. And then from here, you're gonna go over the one, two, three, and then two, three and then one and then two oh, three like that it's just gonna look like that or you can also do this just come on like that. just break that one and leave it like that which I think also looks good so I'm just gonna leave it like that you can do the three or the two whatever you guys want and then here you're just gonna do one two like that or you can do this as well just break that one do this one break this one do that so it'll look like that and it looks better too it looks way better than the other one and here on this one I'm gonna put jungle woods jungle wood door so one two like that you can use any type of door. I'm right now I'm using the texture pack, the city texture pack, and that's why you can use this, make this house, and you know you put whatever doors you want, you know whatever doors you feel would go with this house. It's all up to you guys. Like I said, I'm using right now the city texture pack on the PlayStation, but you can use whatever. On this one, if you guys wanted to look like that, you can use bricks instead of cobblestone because cobblestone looks like this in this texture pack as well but the concrete you will have to use that because the white will look the as modern it looks the same it'll look the same as this but uh the cobblestone will not look like this so i, I would recommend you guys either use just regular stone for, or you can use a bricks or you can use the stones the 
what are they called? Where are they at? The stone bricks, yeah. Yeah, stone bricks. <laughs> um, but you can use those instead. And regular stone. Stone bricks and regular stone. Whatever you guys feel like would look best for you. Okay, so after that, <coughs> you're gonna wanna get the stone. And go just fill in this top part like this. You're gonna wanna make sure it overhangs. From the chimney, you're gonna go all around like this. All the way up to here, like this. And then here, you're just gonna wanna make a little pillar right here like that. So you're just gonna wanna do that. <clears throat> And that's the only area of gray you're gonna need right here of uh, stone for this part right here so remember this is from the chimney up up one and then and over one so you're just gonna fill it in like this all around you're gonna do the outline and that's it and then after that you're gonna get your white concrete and you're gonna go from the chimney again and you're gonna go all around the house like outline it I'm just gonna outline the house all around. Let me just fill this in. And for the floors, guys, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use spruce planks for the floor on this top on this floor like for the roof or for the overhead for the second floor um for the second floor you can use whatever you guys want like i said um so i'm just gonna fill this in you're just gonna wanna get your floor and fill it in from here all around like this you gotta make sure you fill in everything 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 so you're just gonna technically fill it in like i said and that's it and after that I'll be back and I'll show you the second floor alright guys so I'm done filling in the floor and to, we're already gonna start on the second story and so let's do it, let's do it. Um, you're gonna go right here to this block where the next chimney and you're gonna go starting from the floor when you get to the floor one two three four and you're gonna place a stone block right there stone block right there all right and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gonna place a stone right here too on the seventh. And then from here you're gonna go to the very end and you're gonna press place white concrete. And you're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're just gonna go all the way to the end. So here, you're gonna get your stone, you're gonna go up, all the way to the top, like that. Same this side, and just fill it in. And then here, do an overhang and go all the way to the end like that so that's what you're gonna do okay and here you're just gonna get the white concrete fill this in Up 
here too on the very corner you're gonna go to the very corner and throw this here too And on this area, you're gonna grab your stone and you're gonna fill this in like this. You can put whatever you want on here. This is gonna be the the little walkway for the balcony. And you're gonna grab your stained glass panes or glass panes, whatever you decided to use, and you're just gonna put it on the outline. And then after that you fill in the rest white concrete. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and show you guys how it looks when it's finished. Alright guys, so I'm back. I put in all the walls and I did the outlines like I did on the bottom for the windows just to make it easier on me and so I can make it easier to explain. Um so yeah, um from this block next to the next to the brick chimney you're gonna go straight and you're gonna cut out the two that are right here and you're gonna put doors and then after that you're gonna go one over up one and you're gonna cut in three you're gonna cut up three and you're gonna place stained glass on that or glass whatever glass you put and then you're gonna go up one and then place glass there and then you're gonna go over two and then you're gonna open up a two by three and just fill it in with glass and then you're gonna go over one and then do the same thing two by three <clears throat> and you're gonna fill it in with glass and then you're gonna come over to your doors go over one two three and then make a two by three not touching the floor though just like that and then you're gonna go over one go up one and then two by three like so and then on this area <clears throat> you're gonna get white concrete and you're gonna go one two 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 so you're just gonna fill it in from that to that from that wall to that chimney and you're gonna go up from this floor one two three four and then on the fifth one you start placing the first and then so on so that's what you're gonna do on that area and that's pretty much the first part done after that you're just gonna come to this side you're gonna go one two three four five six seven or to make it easier you're just gonna go over one from the inside and just break one two three four and then you're gonna go up one, two, three, four for that cutting that bottom one. So it's a four by four, four, and then four, and then just f fill it in. <clears throat> so like that. And then you're gonna go over one, two, three, and then same thing, two, three, four, four by four. You're gonna go one, two, and that's it. And then one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna break a two by four. So it's gonna make a two by four. And then one, two, three, four, and then a two by four again. Like so. And then one, two, three, four, and then a two by four again. And preferably, um, you can do the windows however you want. I just this is how I made them when I made this house. But you can f go ahead and fix them up however you like. You can make designs with the house with the windows. You can do whatever you guys want. This is just how I built it. Um, 
but to be honest it's all up to you like you can put two more right here but or two more right here too you know whatever you guys like but this is just what I put in the house so I just wanted to let you guys know <clears throat> and also I chose concrete because not only does it look like the best in my opinion but you can also use wool or quartz for this or you can use gray wool as well for instead of stone um, gray wool looks good too you know so it's all up to you guys um, you can use whatever block for this house you think would look best if you don't like the way the cobblestone looks on this house you can choose stone or if you don't like the way stone like it looks on this house you can use stone bricks you know it's all up to you guys but the white concrete and the gray concrete as well as the stone on this texture pack they make it look good so you can always choose your materials or stick to the default ones that I've put on here so and just remember like I said guys for this the cobblestone is not gonna look like this on the regular texture pack for those of you guys who don't have texture packs so it would technically be better to use stone bricks or um, regular stone for the other house and just keep it all stone and just on this area put gray concrete or gray wool or whatever or like I said you can use gray wool instead like gray wool instead of stone you know whatever is cheaper for you guys can you guys gonna build this on survival you guys can build this on survival if you guys don't want to if you guys have a creative world you guys can use whatever you guys want you know um, but I'm just saying the options that are cheaper for others and you know that's all I wanted to say and on this area when I was filling in the wall you know that overhang I put here when you come inside it's gonna have a little gap like this just go ahead and fill that in with white concrete so that's all you guys do and then after that you're gonna come to this wall and you're gonna go over one two three four five and then just one two three four five by four a five by four like so and just fill it in and that's it we are done you're just gonna have to put the roof so I'm gonna grab my doors I'm gonna use the spruce wood door and just place my doors like that and if you guys want to put um, a overhang on this area you can um, I don't, I didn't want to, but you can if you want to, you know, um, after that, you're going to get cobblestone or like I said, stone, whatever you guys want to put on this, this one on the roof is whatever you guys want. I'm just going to put cobblestone and you're just going to fill in the roof and I'll be back when I fill it in. Alright guys, so that's the house right there. I filled in the roof and um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks inside. I'm just going to use this house for preference. This is how the bottom looks. This is how the bottom looks. And also, I forgot to show you this area here inside on this one. You can just fill it in with white concrete. Right here just fill it in with white concrete and you know do whatever you want to do with it you can leave it open you can leave it open as well and just because this is supposed to be the garage for the house you can just close this area off if you want it to be the garage or you can leave it open so it could just be part of the house because it you can have it you can say it's a garage or you can just say it's part of the house you know technically it still goes good with the house the colors and all that so um you can even use it as a bedroom whatever you guys like and then put um the windows or whatever you guys want to put with it um also the staircase i'm not gonna do the inside i'm not gonna fix it up nice because i'm just doing the house tutorial i can do a video on um little tips i can do to like build a, a lamp or you know stuff like that S stuff to put in your house that can make it look nice but customizing it is up to you guys like i said the way you guys want to customize it the staircases you can put a staircase there a open staircase you know it's up to you guys whatever you guys want to do the floor it's up to whatever you guys want to do and uh this is how the top looks the top of the 
so it's pretty spacious this house you can like i said fix it up however you guys like um there's a lot of space for a lot of things out here you know it's a little sun like to get sun tan or whatever you guys want to do out here um and now i'm going to show you guys how to do the the front part which is this area so you're going to need for that pool you're going to need prismarine dark prismarine and sea lanterns okay so <clears throat> you're gonna get that i'm gonna leave all this here all you're gonna need is the stone the jungle leaves and the spruce logs okay and from here from here you're gonna go 12 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then from here you're gonna go 14 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then from here you're gonna go one two three four five six seven and then from here you're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it lines up with us and just do that all right and then actually from here you're just gonna want two three four like that and then just fill this in with spruce logs or whatever you guys want to put i just put spruce logs because this is where the hedges are gonna go so i'm just gonna fill this in not all the way because here this is gonna be so you could just do that <clears throat> like that okay and then you're gonna get your stone and you're gonna break all this in. take it all off and I'll be back you're just gonna take out everything everything all this grass that's inside of the outline you're gonna take it all out and fill it in with stone that's all you're gonna do the pool I will show you guys how to do it I'll put the outline for the pool and um, when I finish that I'll be back and I'll show you guys how to do the pool all right guys so I'm back and um, I was gonna mention to you guys also here you can go over like one or two more if you guys want like this and then just put the hedges I want to Go ahead and put the hedges as well here go two more over and put the the wood so it'll look more it won't look too gray you know and uh, I went ahead and put it in over here what you're gonna want to do is go from the chimney go one two and then one over and then start digging out a one two three four five six seven one two three four five so a seven by five you're gonna want to dig out a seven by five you gotta make sure it goes by one and if you guys want you can make it a little bit bigger it doesn't have to be you know you can do this so it'll look even for people that like stuff even um so i'm just gonna leave it like that and then you're gonna get a bucket of water or buckets of water if you're on survival and you're just gonna fill it in Building everything, building the pool. So, alright. And then you're gonna just dig down one, two. You're gonna dig down two. And if you want three, because you're gonna put the. You're gonna put the dark prismarine and all that. So, you're gonna dig down three. Let's just say three. Alright guys, then we're back, um, I dug out the wall, so you're just going to want to go under the stone and just dig down the two, dig out the two, and you're going to just fill it in with dark prismarine, like so, and then on these areas, you're going to put the sea lanterns, <clears throat> right here, 
and then just fill in the rest with prismarine, the dark prismarine. This house for to be built on survival is kind of expensive, but like I said, this pool you can put whatever you guys want. I just put the prismarine because it kind of looks like the pool material, you know, that pools have. But you can put whatever else you like because I know how some it's kind of easy to find uh, seed temples and all that. But to get this material takes a while because you got to go defeat the guardians and all that. So you can put whatever you guys want as the pool material. Same goes for this if it's cheaper for you guys to have a sheep farm and make it out of gray wool, go ahead, do the white wool, or then the dark gray and the light gray, and then the brick. And this, of course, you'll have to put stone so it can look have that effect you know or like i said stone bricks it's all up to you guys on the material but that's it already that's the house complete and um i'm gonna take you guys around the house so you can see it that's the house and you guys are finished um like i said the w the windows can be however you guys want them it's all up to you guys the floors were all up to you guys it is a little bit expensive to build this house, but you know, um, you can find che che cheaper alternatives for this um, house, and it's all up to you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I will have more Minecraft tutorials coming up soon, hopefully, soon. Um, I have wooden houses, little cabins, you know, I have different houses I'm trying to see right now. I have other houses over there, but they're kind of far. So, um, I'm gonna see what I can do to, what houses I can do next. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Um, so yeah guys, I have, like I said, I have building tips coming up, decoration tips coming up. I have some houses coming up that I want to show you guys how to build. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you.